I am gaming. I am gaming. I am gaming podcast. Hello everyone, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on the latest episode of I am gaming podcast, a podcast about the video game industry, entrepreneurship and gaming nostalgia among many other things it covers. In this episode, I will be talking about the concept of sustainability and why is it important for all of your ventures, small, big and anything in between. So when it comes to the continuation and eventual success of almost any venture, I believe that sustainability is one of the most underrated elements. This applies to the smallest of undertakings, like people starting their zero dollar investment YouTube channel or doing much bigger and more elaborate things, like running a large team in a growing organization. By sustainability, I mean the ability to keep operations up and running in a range of circumstances, including those that are less than favorable. Here, most people rely on projections and their unconscious bias slowly starts leaning towards the more optimistic ones during the planning stages. Now, I know this sounds like a bunch of fancy words, but it's actually a simple concept. For example, I have a solid plan. After 6 months, my Shopify store will hopefully be making around a thousand bucks per month. But even if it doesn't, it will surely do at least 500 or 600 dollars per month. Or another example, my friends laugh like crazy when I crack jokes during our gaming sessions. In a year, my new gaming YouTube channel will have to have at least a few thousand followers or in the worst case scenario, it will reach 1k subs so I can get monetized. This Shopify store might be making exactly 56 bucks per month in 6 months from now. This YouTube channel might have exactly 556 subs in a year. Making a plan based on sustainability means planning for these eventualities and deciding what to do if they take place. Naturally, the first step for anyone will be to get angry at all those stupid visitors to your Shopify store who don't convert to buying customers or all those gaming friends who still haven't subbed to your channel. Yet embracing sustainability is also to understand the lowest margin of your personal definition of success, mixed in with the objective requirements your venture needs to survive. These objective requirements might include money, but they will surely include your time and effort. The question is how much of these are you willing to invest if things start going sideways. Of course, 2020 showed clearly enough that there are some bad things you can plan for. But ventures have failed and will continue to fail not because of global pandemics, but because of overly optimistic and unsustainable planning. So when you make that killer plan for your new venture, try to figure out what will it entail when things are doing so-so. Also, what will it entail when things are doing abysmally bad? That will spare you from both direct material losses and also bitterness, burnout and resentment you would otherwise likely pick up as well. So that's my take on aiming for sustainability and hopefully you found it useful. Thank you so much for listening to the 34th episode of I'm Gaming Podcast and like always a huge thanks to my Patreon supporters. Check out all of them in the description below because they're also operate many cool ventures that are worth your time and even money. Also, don't forget to check out my book, The Pursuit of Micro Success, which also talks about sustainability and creating small one person online ventures that can continue to grow and provide you with many benefits. That was all from me. Thank you so much. Check out all the links in the description below, including possibly becoming my new patron. And I'll be seeing you on the next episode of I Am Gaming Podcast. Until then, bye-bye and have a great day.